Hi, I'm Dan Conklin, Aquarium Supervisor at SeaWorld Orlando. Today, SeaWorld is releasing this 93-pound loggerhead sea turtle, and you have the opportunity to come with us. When this sea turtle came to us back in December, it was a very thin and lethargic and overall very weak. What happened was he was impacted with shell hash and he wasn't able to eat. After we cleared out the shell hash and gave it a round of antibiotics, he was able to swim normally. And today we're actually going to release him back into the wild as a strong, healthy sea turtle. So we're here at Cape Canaveral National Seashore on the beach, ready to release this loggerhead sea turtle. Now this particular guy has some flipper tags on him, and the reason we do that is so that if they show up again somewhere, we'll know the history of this sea turtle. These guys are going to get close to 350 pounds, maybe more, and they can live 50 or more years. To protect sea turtles, you can help by not putting trash in the water, like this plastic bag. This looks a lot like food to a sea turtle, maybe a jellyfish. You can also keep fishing line out of the water, and can you also be careful what kind of hooks you use. Use circle style hooks as opposed to J style hooks. You'll hook a lot less sea turtles with circle style. Today we actually release a loggerhead back into the Atlantic Ocean. But some sea turtles have injuries so severe they can't be released back in the wild. In those cases, SeaWorld is actually able to provide a caring home for the sea turtles. You can actually see some of these sea turtles at SeaWorld's Turtle Trek, opening April 27th. SeaWorld's rescue and rehabilitation program is on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. When we're rescuing and rehabilitating turtles, I feel like they make a difference and a positive impact. Whether it's a hatchling or an adult, it feels real good to take a debilitated turtle, heal it, and get it back into the ocean.